there is this suspicion about deliberate recruitment into such services for such individuals to be used to perpetuate violence, to cow the people, as we, we see in Togo, Cameroon, and other countries, where they have suppressed the people to the extent that they can't voice out and they cannot be themselves. Is that where we are heading to that from what, the narratives we are seeing? That is what we are doing to ourselves. It is wrong, and we shall pay a price, a bitter price for it, if we don't stop. You know, it, it's, it's sad that Ghana is heading that way. Today, we talk about Mali, talk about Guinea, talk about all those around us which are exploding. We are going to go that way if we don't change. You see, the military have been one of, one of the beautiful, most beautiful institutions in Ghana today. Since all the coups, we have never fought among ourselves because we've never been divided. I think about the school, which wasn't very popular, but we stayed together to ensure Ghana stayed safe. But the way we are going, if we don't condemn and stop politicians from doing what they are doing, I'm 86. By the time I go, Ghana will not be there. That's a strong...